Hey, Pat and Dave back for another episode of Shop Talk, where today we've got the all new Polaris Expedition as well as the General XP. So Dave, we're gonna be comparing these two a little bit, kind of explaining what they're about, but give us a little history lesson on General. Like where'd that come from and where are we at now? Yeah, General was launched back in 2015 and since then it's been gaining in popularity because it's got so many uses, it's great. And it's what we call a crossover machine. So initially built off a of Razor, but with added comfort and capability, it's a great machine for the trail ride and you can do some utility function with it as well. Nice, so when we talk about that, that's crossover. When we look at Polaris Expedition, here we're talking all about adventure riding, right? And what does that mean when you think adventure, you know, what does that really mean to you when you talk an adventure class vehicle like Polaris Expedition? Yeah, when we're talking adventure, it was all about getting you and your gear further out in the backcountry, taking that 72 hour adventure. So we built the Polaris Expedition, actually the ground up with adventure in mind. And that's why we're separating crossover from an adventure segment with all new product Polaris Expedition. Nice, all right, well, let's focus a little bit on general first and kind of walk through a few areas on that rig. And I think the first one is kind of how are people, how do we expect people to use it? You know, what kind of riding or, or, you know, gear are you going to bring with on a general? Yeah. So really, uh, general, uh, people use mostly for trail riding. It's fantastic on the trail. Like I just mentioned, originally built off a of racer. It's got that performance with hundred horsepower. It's got the suspension with 14 inches of travel Walker Evans shock, but then we gave it a dump box and a really comfortable interior. So it's a great, full day trail riding machine. Nice, so when you think, you know, I heard you mention dump box, right? How much can that thing hold and kind of what else can you store and bring with you when you're talking general? Yeah, it's got a pretty good sized dump box with the tailgate on it. So it's great to bring enough gear for, for the day of yeah, trail okay. riding. So you can put the cooler back there, you can put a spare tire. We have uh, accessory racks and storage containers that go back there. So you can definitely bring all your gear uh, for a day ride. Yeah, and, and you know, for me, I always bring people with when I'm out riding, right? So how many people can I, can I haul in a, in a general? Yeah, well, side by sides are all about socializing <laughs> and showing other people the experience, right? So on general, you can, uh, we have a two seat as well as a four seat. And the beauty about the four seat is the rear seats are really comfortable. It's got the same seats in the front as the back. I call it first class comfort for four. Nice. And then the other thing I think about, you know, when I'm rocking a general is kind of what's the riding season that I can operate in, right? Obviously bone stock comes with an open cockpit like this, but what can you add on to, you know, knock off that cool morning air or, or be able to ride in the summer or winter? Yeah, as you mentioned, it comes with half doors, uh, but through our accessory suite, you can enclose the cab. We've got two offerings with uh, upper half doors uh, or full doors uh, that you can put on the vehicle and an accessory heater kit. Nice, all right, so let's bounce over to Polaris Expedition now. And when we think, we talked a little bit about that riding, but you know, what's, what's that adventure weekend look like? Yeah, well, we were all inspired to do that 72 hour adventure. So we needed it to be able to go further, take more gear and take more people with you. Yeah, and then I think the next thing we talked was storage capability, right? So again, we got a couple different box options here, but what, what can you haul? I mean, it's a lot, right? Yeah, Polaris Expedition, again, comes in a two seat, but then also on the multi-passenger four door, it actually comes with five seats. And XP with the dump box and then the ADV model with actually a static rear box, but it's all about storage. Those seats convert, so the box is actually wider, it's longer than the General XP and has the new lock and ride max system. So you can really configure the storage and seating to how you're gonna use it out on your own adventure. Nice, I think you, you already mentioned number of seats, right? But we got two and five and you know, I was just looking back here, right? And this is exactly what you're talking about, right? You can flip this seat down and get a huge amount of cargo or flip it up and you're good to go to haul, you know, all your, all your, your friends with you. So that makes it easy. Um, I think the other big thing then is how do we get year round capability out of the Polaris Expedition? You know, when you think about open air cockpit like we have here, what, what else do we offer? Yeah, so just like general, it comes with half doors and through accessories, you can add upper doors or full door again, but really the flagship of Polaris Expedition is the North Star model from the factory, full doors, power windows, tip out windshield, heat, and air conditioning, and that's what really makes it unique, is you can buy a Polaris Expedition with air conditioning, so no matter what uh, season you're in, whether you're yeah. gonna come across, you're gonna be comfortable, and your adventure is gonna continue on. That's fantastic, man. So the other thing that we've been hearing a lot of people ask about, right, is kind of what, what's your budget? I mean, you know, obviously General, General XP has been around for a few years, Polaris Expedition is all new, you know, kind of where do they stack up? Yeah, definitely. It's all about the size of your adventure and the size of your budget. So we've got a full suite between general and expedition. No matter your adventure or your budget, we've got you covered. Nice. 
All right, so I think just to recap, Dave, you know, both great machines, right? Both have slightly different use cases. Obviously, different storage capability, different hauling, different riding type, different number of people, different HVAC capabilities, you know, slightly different budgets. Overall, both of these are fantastic units. I think that's it for this episode of Shop Talk. Be sure you guys uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you want to see next.